Good afternoon YouTube, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can probably see in front of us, just scroll back a bit, that's better. Um, oh, I just come upstairs and my dog followed me and he's having a good scratch in the background. You okay boy? You were sleeping nice then? Sorry. Um, yeah, it's the second time I tried to film this video. I got a good five, six minutes in just now. I started to feel a bit faint, so I've been training this morning and I pushed myself a bit too much, I think. So I've gone down, I've had a big glass of water. I brought a glass of water upstairs with me as well into the, uh, the game store drawer. And uh, yeah, I'll try it again. I've taken some tablets as well, that normally helps. Yeah, so as you can see in front of us, we've got um, three retro game magazines, a nice collection. We've got Nintendo uh, Magazine, uh, Mean Machines Sega, and Mean Machines PlayStation. I think this is 1995, I think that's 1995, and I believe this is 1996. I did have a little scout around at some of the stuff in there, so uh, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, yeah, I haven't done one of these videos for a while. I enjoy reading through my uh, retro gaming magazines on my YouTube channel. So um, I got these as well. I picked these up. Uh, shout out Super Tomato in Cardiff. He's normally got a good selection there, but um, there's not many left in there. I'm clearly not the only person that uh, is picking these magazines up when they go in there, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so I think we'll start with um, the Nintendo then. I'll put these to one side for now. Um, so... If it's got anything half decent on the cover, I pick it up basically. So we love Killer Instinct on this channel. It's nice to see you got FIFA 96 preview, um, plus Mortal Kombat 3, Weapon Lord. Never actually played that Weapon Lord game. I don't know if I ever will. It's one of those games that's eluded me all these years. Uh, unless they launch it on the PlayStation Store, which I think is quite unlikely. So in this magazine, you've got the Super Nintendo, the Game Boy, and the Nintendo Ultra 64, as it was known back then. So the Nintendo 64 is what it became uh, known as. Uh, yeah, I just talked about this. I just zoom out a touch. There we are, it's perfect. Um, just talking about this just now. I hate it when they do adverts. Without showing any gameplay. That's what you want to see, isn't it? Imagine doing an advert on TV without showing gameplay. What the fuck? Like, so they spent, wasted all this money. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about it anymore because it does my head in when they do stuff like that. Like, what, what is it? Do you know what I mean? Um, so, what's in this issue? Killer Instinct, you got there. This is the Weapon Lord. Really like the look of that. You got Doom in there as well. Uh, this is just going to be a quick skim through as well, guys. I'm not going to read every single article. But we are going to try, if I'm feeling okay, we're going to try and do the three magazines in one video, okay? So wish me luck in one take. Anybody knows, or you should all know by now that all my videos are in one take. Um, update Dragonfly takes off. So again, they're calling it the Ultra 64. I quite like the name Ultra 64. No, Nintendo Ultra 64. But um, yeah, it's just the N64 as well there. It's... Must have been close though, you know, because it originally was called that, wasn't it? Uh, okay, so what have we got? Anything? Oh, look at this. I remember I got memories. Maybe it's not this exact controller, this control pad, but um, some of the boys I used to go around, some of the boys from swimming. We used to play Street Fighter 2 a lot. And uh, if you had this controller, everybody obviously wanted the Super Nintendo controller. But then this became the popular one then because you had all these turbo buttons. So you press that one turbo and then like the red would go, the yellow, etc. So you could just uh, play as E-Honda, for example, or Chen Li and just hold down the button. So you wouldn't have to tap it really fast to do their uh, some of their super moves. So yeah, it was really frustrating if you're playing against them, you know. Uh, what's this? Manga Mayhem Monthly. Uh, this looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Angel Cop. Is that what that is? This month's new manga releases. The four times be released August. Uh, first of all, this Project AO. Yeah, okay. We'll uh, we'll keep going. Nothing stands out there. Oh look, the Virtual Boy. 
Yeah. I think I've got a couple of these magazines in my collection as well. So they what have they got here? So this is the reviews, is it? Or previews. Ratings guide. I was telling you what to expect, I suppose. Oh, The Lost Vikings 2. I never played these, but a lot of people say, tell me, um, they're really good. Uh, they're really good games, or they've got really good memories of them. Yeah, I think the first and second one came out on the Super Nintendo. I don't know if it came out on the Mega Drive. It might have been a Nintendo exclusive. But I do remember the, the posters and the artwork. Uh, what's this? Zoop. It's a funny name, isn't it? No memory of that. FIFA 96 Soccer. God, is this the first FIFA? Do you know what? I think I've got this as well. Don't ask me how I've got it. It's because I don't really play football games. Bear with me, I'm just going to have a quick swig of water. Yeah, I definitely pushed it a bit hard this morning on my run. Flipping heck, I'm knackered now. Um, not complaining, not complaining. It's a preview. Got all this fucking stuff as if it's really good. But uh, again, it's showing nice, some nice good gameplay. It's a charm to these old FIFA games, isn't there? I predict as well that in the future, they might, they might be, uh, they might become very collectible. The older FIFA games, you know, you can pick up a five-year-old FIFA game for something like a pound or fifty pence now, can't you? And then some people are hanging on to them, not getting rid of them. I think it would, if you like your FIFA games. It'd be nice to have, like, from FIFA 96 all the way up to uh, what we are now, FIFA 23. Uh, it'd be a nice collection. Or oh, nice to have in the collection. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Who's that? Oh, it's that guy that uh, played with blue hair. Okay, now. Come a long way, mind, haven't we? Phantom 2040. Oh, the Phantom. Uh, from DC or Marvel, isn't he? Never really got into that. He's a cool guy, isn't he? Raw Mortal Kombat 3 preview. Got blurry these pictures are. It's not my camera. They are actually. <laughs> that's how they bad uh, bad they look, you know. But again, they give a quick um, guide, I suppose, or backstory. I love all that shit. I do. Yeah, I love uh, love my Mortal Kombat 3 on this channel. Uh, Game Boy games. Like, what the fuck's this? Put your foot in it. That's a fashion thing, is it? Oh, he's a cool dude, isn't he? Oh, hello. Primal Rage. How could we miss that? <gasps> Imagine owning one of them. I wonder if this competition's still open. Reenact Jurassic Park in safety and comfort of your own home. Of your own bedroom, sorry. Wow, they call it Jurassic Park. It's Primal Rage, you idiots. Okay, now it's much cooler than Jurassic Park. Oh, wow. Your chance to win a coin up worth three thousand pound. Look how awesome! That's the one they had in the Audion in Swansea. Yeah, swallowed my money. How dare you, Batman Forever? Another preview. It's all previews, isn't it, so far? The reviews are where it's at normally. I don't think I've actually played this. Funny, yeah, I did go to the cinema to watch this. It was fucking terrible. I was at an age, so what's this, 95, I would have been four, 13 or 14, and going to the cinema was my highlight of my week, it was £2.10 to go to the cinema, I think I had £5 a week pocket money, so that took up a chunk of my pocket money, you know, after then the, the bus to get there, and most films, even if it was an alright film, I used to come out thinking, oh that was the best film I've ever seen, then we go again the next week. Oh, that was the best film I've ever seen. But when I watched Batman Forever, I came out and I thought, that was shit. I knew back then. I've never really been a Batman fan. I never really got into it. I came out in the Game Boy as well, look. Go on, boys. Ruin Arm. It's an RPG, is it? Never heard of it. Forms better than two. There's a lot of information on that page, isn't there? Stunning though, I will add, it is very, very, uh, very stunning looking. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to adjust my microphone a little bit. I'm leaning forward on my uh, thing and I'm conscious I'm knocking it. Oh yes, this is a good addictive game. I used to be able to play, I can't remember, I think I had, is this Super Nintendo? Yeah, I think I had this and it doesn't owe me a penny or didn't owe me a penny. Um, 
hours, weeks, months of fun. I just do it over and over and over again, you know? Yeah, really good fun, Bomberman. So, oh, this is actually a review, so they're giving it a 91. Uh, the best has just got better. Yeah, awesome. Shooting games, just go all over that. Hector, 87. Super Nintendo. Good God, Bomberman 2. Oh, Game Boy. I might have had this as well. I, I, I definitely had Bomberman. I know I had it on... I think it was the Super Nintendo, the more I think about it. But uh, maybe I borrowed this off someone. Uh, how did it do? 71%. Fucking hell. Uh, tries to do, tries to do too much, and they spelled too wrong, nice one, <laughs> well done, well done, no this isn't the English channel, oh, don't worry about it, I'll let it, let it slide, I'm not going to write to the editor or anything, uh, oh, what, god, I had no idea, how long have I had this, fuck, I've had this for a good couple of weeks, months, I had no idea this, a player's guide for fucking Primal Rage is in here, Look how, look how beautiful. It's a stunning game. If you haven't played it, guys, it's, uh, the, I believe the Sega Saturn version is the best version. Um, I've actually got the arcade version now on one of those collections. Again, look at it. Stunning. I mean, I'll just uh, zoom in on these guys here. Like, oh, wow. This is where I was at back in the day. Trying to cash in on the Jurassic Park, though, isn't it? I don't care. Uh, Donkey Kong Land. For the Game Boy. That's how they did back then. It was like Mario Land. Mario World was the Super Nintendo. Mario Land was the uh, Game Boy. So they were obviously trying to cap, uh, go that way as well. Donkey Kong Land. Don't know how good a game this is. Oh, this is... This isn't a review though, is it? Our Player's Guide, okay. Uh, don't know how good that did. Oh, Weapon Lord. This looks fucking cool. Look at this. Yeah, I'm all over that shit. Apparently, it had um, quite unusual controls. Um, it was didn't play like any other fighting game, you know. Like I know, like a lot of the 3D games play like like Tech and Soul Calibur, don't they? Uh, the 2Ds, you know, different franchises would play like Street Fighter, for, for example, uh, or King of Fighters, and then this played very differently. Apparently, uh, oh, it is a review. Now, how many page? They gave it a good review, didn't they? One, two, three, four, six page review. We got a 92. Uh, and the material and craftsmanship is superb, but this is a hefty piece of software. Oh, nice. Yeah, really like I've always liked the look of that game. Doom. Isn't it crazy that Doom came out on the Super Nintendo? I keep forgetting. You know, it was 3D shooting, first person shooter. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. That's a review. How did it ninety-five percent? Uh makes a man of your super ness. <laughs> and a and a meal of the thirty-two X, a killer game, whichever way you look at it. Yeah, well done. Really good achievement. Uh Power Rangers. It's got a seventy-three. I was a little bit too old for the Power Rangers. Uh funny enough, like some of my mates are into Power Rangers. But I was at that age um, where I was trying to be more of a grown-up than perhaps what I was, you know. Um, and I was like, oh, that's for kids. So I always dismissed it. So I never really got into it. Primal Rage on the Game Boy. Wow, look at it. Look at it. 64. Fair enough answer to an unreasonable request. Unlikely to awake any primal urge. Okay, interesting. Doesn't look that good, does it, to be fair. But it only had two fucking buttons, the Game Boy, didn't it? So you can't really do much. Uh, Oblix, 77. What was this called? Asterix, wasn't it? That's what I thought these games are called. Uh, Vampire Kiss. What's this then? Again, there's so many games came out. It looks like um, Castlevania clone, doesn't it? it? Looks really good. Look at that screenshot there. Looks really good, doesn't it? Oh, there's a Castlevania game. Fucking hell. This is me thinking, oh, it looks very similar. It's I find Vampire Kiss. 
It is Qua Castlevania. What a dumbass. I'm very special, and I. Sorry. <laughs> Let me know, my dumbass, in the comments. 73. God, I bet this game is expensive. I think. Is it this one that's on the. Uh, the SNES Mini? I really need to get into those games. Oh, yeah. Killer Instinct. Stunning game, wasn't it? We're not going to read any of these guys. We'll have a little look at the artwork. Oh, yeah, look at that one. Oh, and that one. Cool. The next generation of gaming magazines. Overlord. Discover the facts on the 1st of September, baby. What game's that? Tekken 2? Tekken 3? Don't know what that is. I don't know. It's uh, King of Fighters 94, 95? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Return of the Jedi for the Game Boy. Wow. Madden 96. Are oh, these a game in progress? Okay. FIFA Soccer 96. That plays like absolute balls. PGA Tour. So this is... When did this come out then? There's been a lot written about Nintendo's Virtual Boy over the last few months. Sadly, much of it has been very negative, with various industry pundits criticising the machine for being gimmicky and not next generation enough. Oof. God, I get... Uh, when I look at that, I get serious GameCube uh, controller vibes. Or I've never had the itch to, um, to buy one. God knows how expensive they are. But I would love to go to a convention or something just to experience it. Um, yeah, I would really, that's like almost like a bucket list thing for me to do, you know, just to have a go of one, you know. Just to say I've done it. Yeah, it's very red. I don't know why they went with red. But some of the games look half decent, you know. But I couldn't play for long with that red and black colours. The Game Boy's bad enough with the 50 shades of green. But, um, nah. Maybe it'll be the best thing ever. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll, so I'm just gonna have a drink. I've gotta stay hydrated, see? I've gotta look after the body, the old body. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so maybe the Virtua Boy be the best thing ever. Who knows? Oh, some cool guys sitting at their desk. He's got a trophy for something. The conductor himself. Oh, wow, you're so cool. You were so cool. It's funny though, right? This guy's got to wear a shirt and tie to work. <laughs> he's in a t-shirt. That's more my style. He's there, his fucking guitar in his office. I <laughs> love it. Didn't, but it, it, you got to think though, like he's obviously proud he's won that. Or maybe the photographer. I, okay, I overthink every picture, right? So he's obviously, right, I've got my best tie on. The photographer, he might, the photographer could have said, yeah, okay, get your trophy out. Yeah, look at me. He's like, oh, whatever. But these, let, hang on a sec, let me grab my guitar to make me look cool. <laughs> Gee, sorry, I overthink everything. The Demolition Man. That's a game I wouldn't mind uh, having a go of. And next month. Oh, yes. Well, uh, God, is that John Hartson? Bloody hell. Ian Rush. Fucking hell, look at all these players. A lot of them now work for the BBC, don't they? Right, okay, so that was stage one or phase one complete, Nintendo magazine. I'm feeling a bit better now, so we will, I'll just swap that over then. Let's do Sega, baby. Much prefer the art style. I think the cover, the Squins uh, cover of the, of the three. What do you reckon? They're all really cool, but there's something about... Uh, Judge Dread, Judge Judy Dread on the cover, you know. Sonic, Sonic Games Overlords. Okay, let's have a look. So we've got this is what nineteen eighty five as well. Ah, oh, the beloved Master System, the forgotten console. Uh, so you got Game Gear. So no, um, oh my God, look what they've done. There's the Master System, but there, can you see that? It says System. <laughs> they, they, they. Give so little shits about the Master System. They put Judge Dredd's shoulder pad. So there could be Master System games in here. I guess we'll never know. <laughs> and then you got Game Gear. 
the uh, wait for it to focus the Mega CD, the Mega Drive, the 32X, and the Saturn. Okay, let's have a look, shall we? Okay, so we've got some advertising. That's not even a game. What have we got here then? Judge Dredd. That's I just. This is the latest one I picked up. I think actually. Just because I think it was his last uh, Sega one, so I thought, right, just grab it on, and I'll, I had a quick flick through on the bus on the way home. On the bus, sorry, on the train on the way home. Uh, excellent. New game by Capcom. Probably the biggest Saturn story to emerge from Japan this month was the announcement uh, of the conversion of Capcom's X-Men coin-op. Ooh. like the sound of that. wonder what it could be. Then news, Virtua Fighter, big deal that was. What else have we got? I don't know why I'm whispering. Do apologise. Oh my God, how good is that? All oh right, so they're doing age sixteen and over. That's impressive, isn't it? Look at that artwork. Bloody hell, does it say his age? I suppose, if you're an adult, you don't want to say your age, do you? God, they're all really good, mind, aren't they? So, 10 and under. I always struggle like these. I don't know, like, did did mum or dad help them draw these or whatever? 11 to 15. They're all better than I could do. Let me, uh, let me say that. What else have we got? Get your hands off my chopper now, okay? Uh, 1995, the year of the worms. Gosh, Judge Dread cover story. Uh, acclaim. That's cool, isn't it? He's something about him. Yeah, that game looked. Uh, I don't know how it reviewed. I think it's like an average game, six, seven out of ten, maybe. But uh, yeah, visually, it's uh, looks a bit of a stunner, doesn't it? I know there was a hell of a lot of hype uh, about the movie. I like the newer Judge Dredd, but I also appreciate the Stallone one. He's got those fucking shoes on, because he's a tall guy, isn't he, and Stallone's quite short. So he's got, like, um, like platform shoes. It's so obvious in the in the in some of the scenes. But, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I do enjoy uh, a bit of Judge Dredd, you know? Hang on a sec. Look at that. I, uh, this is mad, right? But if you had a time machine... Uh, so again, the games at the top blocks. You got Mortal Kombat twenty nine ninety nine, Sonic nine ninety nine. That's a good deal. Uh, Lemons ten ninety nine. Right, I'm just this has just caught my eye here, right? The Atari Lynx two, Atari Lynx two, Batman Returns pack. So it's twenty nine ninety nine. That's insanely cheap. God. Someone selling one of them on Facebook right now, actually, for a good price. It's like 130 quid with a handful of games, and the games are boxed. Um, but sometimes you've got to be honest with yourself. You think, would I play it? I, One of my friends in primary school had the Atari Lynx. The funny thing is, this guy used to say... He was a bit of a bullshit. A lot of people tell lies, don't they, when they're kids, isn't it? Just to make friends or whatever, or to seem cool. And he was saying, yeah, I've got this, I've got this. And then one day, I think it was Christmas uh, in a school concert or school play that we had. And he brought it. And he was like, fuck, he was telling the truth all that time. But he was the only person I ever knew that had the Atari Lynx, because we all had Game Boys, didn't we? But, um, yeah, it was a cool little console. But I don't think I've got the age to... Uh, to get into that. Uh, so what's this? Sonic Project Chaotix. Okay, work in progress. I've definitely got the urge to play Sonic all of a sudden. I'll talk about it on another video. But um, I'm definitely going to boot up, again, reading these magazines. I love the Mega Drive collection on the PS3 and the one that came out on the PS4. It's just brilliant. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stick that on later, I think. Maybe I'll do a video on it. Uh, Stellar Assault. These games mean nothing to me. The 32X for Mega Pleasure. Slap this in your slot for 169.99. Is that how much they were? Fuck. There's so many bad decisions, isn't there, by Sega, you know? 
Uh, Izzy's quest for the Olympic rings. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Okay. Again, I got no. God, this is a. Oh, Atlanta 96. Atlanta 96. That wasn't Carl Lewis. He was 80s, wasn't he? Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's keep on going, baby. Theme park. I had one of these. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't have these. I had the PlayStation version of that. Alien Soldier. This looks fucking cool, doesn't it? Like a run and gun. Those are the, the best type of games back then, in my opinion. Fahrenheit Shining Force CD. I think that's quite an expensive game to play now. Uh, Cannon Fodder Doom. The Lion King. Boogerman. <laughs> we had some games, didn't we? Uh, oh, Snatcher. Oh, there's a game I'd love to experience. I'll have to, uh, maybe one day I'll buy a, 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 a mid-range PC and just emulate all these fucking really good games, you know. But there's something about that game. I've always wanted to play it. The Complete Sonic Tips Guide. I'll have to read this later when I'm uh, Sonic and Knuckles. That's the one I got the urge to play. Pitfall. Make our tips. I think there's been any reviews yet, is there? It's a nicely these mean machines, right? They have a nicely presented magazine, aren't they? Like every page is different. Do you know what I mean? Like, all oh, right, you know, you can see like they've got Pit Fighter. Right, we're gonna go for this theme, this black, blue, right in yellow, right in kind of style. Yeah, okay. So you realise, yeah, I'm still talking about the same game, and it goes over. Boom, we're on to True Lies. So yeah, I always appreciate these. Uh, these magazines, you know. True Lies, love this film. It's not my favourite Arnie films. Oh, that could be an idea for top three Thursday, baby. Favourite Arnold Schwarzenegger games, you know. I think that's how you pronounce his name. 79%. Don't ever remember anyone talking about this growing up. Hmm, don't know, maybe it was a late release. The Mega Drive. Asterix, The Power of Gods. Uh, review 90 see these games reviewed really well i believe there's a really good version came out on the sega master system as well i really am pushing my master system collecting as well now guys so maybe uh, in a future up, uh, pickups video you might see some new additions victory goal can have saturn doesn't look pretty good is it how does that do 55 percent fuck it now NBA Jam Tournament Edition. This is 2 1 2 player, if I remember right, isn't it? You don't play as a full team. Yes, yeah, so it's just two players. And I don't think, unless I'm, my memory might be a bit foggy on this, but because Michael Jordan was such a big deal, he wasn't in the game. So I can barely work at Miami Heat. This is the era where I was into, uh, really into my basketball in the 90s. Oh, yeah. are. So, oh, Chicago Bulls, you had Armstrong and Pippin. Do you know what I mean? You'd have Jordan and Pippin, wouldn't you? Do you know what I mean? The next, uh, uh, Oakley and uh, Irving. Oh, yeah. 90. Yeah, really, really good fun games they were. Uh, what else have we got then, guys? Skeleton Crew. 83 Mega Drive. Tennis, nah. Sonic Drift 2. People forget that these games exist. There's a good Sonic Team Racer or Sega. That's meant to be a really good game on the Xbox 360. And I think it came out on the PS3 as well. But, uh, yeah, 92%. Obviously, they're trying to uh, capitalise on the, um, the popularity of Mario Kart. It looks good, right? Only now I realise this is the Game Gear. Look how good those graphics are for the Game Gear. If you can see... Yeah, it looks really good, doesn't it? No wonder I had a 92. I don't think that came out on the Master System. Let me know if I'm wrong. I've never seen it, anyway. Uh, what else have we got then, guys? Tough Man Contest. Okay. Motocross Championships. This just looks a mess to me. 
Some of the games on this era, though, like they really hit or miss. Some just look a mess, but some have got a charm to them. Uh, golf, no thank you. A warlock, 72. Fatal Fury Special. Fucking hell, they give it a little shitty little bit at the back, look. What, what's this on? 29.99 on the Spy Sega. What is it for? It doesn't say what system it's... Oh, it's Game Gear. Fucking hell, I didn't know this came out in the Game Gear. I'm pretty confident it didn't come out... Didn't come out over here um, on the Master System. Fatal Fury Special. Oh, what? I would have loved that on the Master System. Oh, they give it a 46%. But uh, no, they didn't. They didn't like that game, did they? Maybe, maybe that came out like Street Fighter Two came out. Um, it's a Brazil exclusive, wasn't it? Maybe I can see that maybe being a Brazil exclusive, you know, uh, for the Master System. Columns, more artwork. Pink Hollywood or pink goes to Hollywood or pink is that pink? Say Panther somewhere. That was a funny one, wasn't it? Pink Panther never got the thing with that. Daytona! Sorry. Breaking into song as we uh, as we go. And all the Mega Mart stuff. There we are. That is magazine number two. Yeah, that was a... I enjoyed that. And let's do magazine number three. Uh, which definitely haven't done this one before. I'm sorry, I'm just going to move my chair in a bit closer. I hope the audio is okay because I'm, I'm conscious that I'm knocking my microphone uh, to the tripod, so I do apologise. One sec, I'm just gonna have a drink. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely not feeling right. Right, so Tekken three, I couldn't buy this quick enough, you know. Six page special. So what else have we got? We've got uh, Twisted Metal, Spot Goes to Hollywood, Legs You Can. Dark Forces. Okay, let's have a look, shall we? Let's have a look. Uh, Warhammer. God, these games have been around longer than I uh, than I realised. Contents. Tekken 3. Tekken it to the bridge. Ah, I see what you did there. It's back and it's bad. <laughs> really? It's back and it's bad. Bad was good back in the day as well, I will add. So we had a funny language, didn't we? Namco's World... World beating beat em up Tekken returns to the arcades for the third outing. The fighting talk starts on page 18. Bam, bam. Exciting. Anything else stand out then? We've got Spot Goes to Hollywood. It's probably just that. That's Tekken 3. Legacy of Khan. Dark Forces. Some of these games should be a bit better now because they're the PlayStation. Oh, Tabal 2. Have I got that? I think that's on my uh, list of games I want to pick up. No, I haven't got it. Please, cry me a river. Poor Tony hasn't got that game. Is it? A, it's not a Capcom game, though, is it? Deal it, de de No, it reviewed really well, didn't it? Oh, look at that fight stick. Oh, yes. I'd love to have something like that. But it's clunky as a thick. Yeah, it'd be good, uh, good fun. I wouldn't pay much for it, though. Cool borders. Oh, my God. That's a blast from the past. I remember one of my friends growing up, he had... Um, we were 18, and he had his own... Yeah, he was the first of us to get his own place. He had like a studio uh, flat. It was absolutely tiny. They've knocked these buildings down now. It was a, a shit all. It's a place called Hillside. And my friend Matthew, he, um, or Skinner as his nickname was back then, he had this game and fuck, we used to play this game to death. He'd, he'd always be on. He'd just go up, knock a door, open the door because he, you know, he'd never used to lock his door. Uh, fuck, sign of the times, and uh, yeah, that takes me straight back. That does. Oh, MTV charts, victory, destruction, derby, boxing, die hard, FIFA 97, two real, Tekken 2. Fuck, so Tekken 3 is just about to come out, and Tekken 2 is still in the charts. 
Broken Sword, uh, Command and Conquer, awesome. Remain Machines recommend Destruction to Derby 2, Cool Borders, good place for that, and to battle number one. Cool. Yeah, that's a uh, proper nostalgia, that is. Oh, to battle number one again. I don't think I've ever played them, see? Play, play Magazine 94%. Get in there. Okay, what else is standing out? Command and Conquer. I thought it was an advert for the... A lot of these magazines had um, adverts like recruitment because the age of the people reading these magazines. A lot of them were like fresh out of school, looking for work like I would have been back then. Uh, so it was a lot of like military. I think it was one in this one as well, wasn't it? Yeah, you know, join the Navy first fucking page. You know, they knew what they were doing. That's why I thought that was an advert, but not as far Command and Conquer, fair play. Uh, what have we got then? The art stuff. Laura Croft. Let's have a look. Tekken 2. Looks pretty cool. Can I zoom in on that? No, not really. Not not really, but uh, I'll zoom in on that one now. I'll bring that one closer. Uh, what's it say? Don't underestimate the power. That's a funny noise. Someone's drilling. I hope that's a drill again. Let's come out of it. There we are. Um, still learning how to use this fucking camera and not going to lie. Oh, here we go. Tekken 3. So this is the arcade version then, is it? Let's have a look. Yeah, those graphics look a little bit good. It's probably... Oh, sorry, I'm trying to read it. I can't... It gives me a headache reading it through the camera. It's probably Namco's biggest title yet and it's Virtua Fighter 3. Winning praise left, right, and center. This has to be something special. Mean Machines PlayStation took a trip down to the Namco Wonder Park. Oh, I'd love to go there to see it if it really worth if it's really worth the wait. Oh, what a fucking stunning looking game, though, isn't it? You know, like this was the standard. This this game, Tech Tekken One was okay, but Virtua Fighter, like they're basically saying, was the was the dawn when it came to three D. Tekken 2 was much better than Tekken 1. They did a load of things right. But then Tekken 3 came out and it was, boom, pretty much game over as far as the 3D fighters. The only one I'd say to rival this would be uh, Soul Blade um, and Soul Calibur series, you know. Yeah, oh yeah, what a good magazine. It says the moose. Uchimichu, Nina Williams, King. No, they don't do all the characters, do they? Jin, Paul Phoenix, Law. No, they don't. I still haven't really got a main in these the earlier games. Like my mains now. Um, I don't know who's my main in. I like um, Noctis. Yeah, he come at me. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm a fan of Noctis. Um, Yuchimisu, maybe. I may have pronounced that wrong. Uh, okay, his interesting photos again. They must love their candy. And there's every single one of them eating on the job. What's going on? I like my candy as well. I'm not going to lie. Tilt. 84%. That's pretty cool, actually, didn't it? Do you know, I don't own a pinball game. I tell you what, next time I go to uh, Retro Stash in Port Albert, I pick it up, seriously now, right? I pick it up every single time I'm in there and put it back. Is the Kiss pinball game on the PlayStation. Chris or Luxton, next time we're in there, make sure I buy it. I don't know how much it is, but I pick it up and I. it's one of those games... It's probably gone by the time we go back there. It'll probably be gone. It's my fault, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's, I think it'll be cool to just check with the controller. Just um, chill out and play some pinball, you know. Uh, Monster Trucks. Spot goes to Hollywood. This was a thing. Was he the Spot? Was he from... He was a mascot for 7-Up, I think. And I remember it was a big deal. It was it was quite a good game on the... I think it was for the Super Nintendo and Mega Drive or maybe Mega Drive. I can't really remember. But 
But I always remember one of these magazines came with a really cool, cool spot pin badge. I used to wear it on my tie to school. Um, and it's really cool because his legs are really skinny and you'd think they'd be quite flimsy, but no, it was a really high quality uh, pin badge. Fuck knows what's happened to it, you know. Star Wars Dark Forces. I think I played this and I... But it was terrible. It was the controls. It was clunky, but I put up with it because it's a Star Wars game, you know. But... Um, Reviewed pretty good. It had an 89. Uh, that's what they scored it at. Uh, maybe. If I see this, I will probably pick it up again. Just to see if it's as bad as I remember. Uh, 10 pin alley. 66%. Legs of car. 92%. I think. Are there sequels to this on the PS2? Am I thinking of the right, uh, the right game? Perfect weapon. I've never heard of that. What did that do? 40%. <laughs> Getting hell. There's a reason why I've never... I'm looking there. I thought oh, it's a new fighting game, is it? Looks like a bit of a brawler, doesn't it? <laughs> Getting hell. 40%. Playability 30. Yeah. Not for me. Uh, what's this? Fuck. Oh, what? No, I'm going to stick up for this game now. Battle Arena to Shinden 3. When I was saying about the 3D fighters, I was going to say to Shinden, they give it a, <laughs> they give it a 25. What the hell? How can you give that a 25? Playability, 19. Yeah, the controls aren't the best. <laughs> oh my God. I, you're entitled to your opinion, I suppose. But um, no, we like, we like to Shinden on my channel, you know. Oh, what? If the Fugees are the Robson and Jerome of rap, then... Oh, fuck, I can't even be bothered to read it. I'm trying to be clever. Slagging my games off. Jet Moto. Oh, I can't believe... 25. Sorry, I just had to double check then. What? Uh, Chronicles of the Sword. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Can't be a nice skeleton. Uh, never heard of it, though. Or maybe, I, oh, I might have picked it up and had a look at the back and put it back, you know. Animation playability. Yeah, it looks, it looks all right, doesn't it? I don't know if you play as a skeleton or something, or is he just a random bad guy? I don't know. Twisted Metal World Tour. Racing game, is it? 91? Fucking hell. I do see that out quite a bit. I'm gonna have to check it out. Cheats, wrecking crew, fucking hell. It was an awesome time, wasn't it? The PlayStation days, or the PS1, as if you wanna call it that. I call it the PlayStation. Um, oh, Excalibur. Now this is a game I've picked up a couple of times and put back. Have I picked it up? Excalibur. No, I haven't got it in my collection. I know two shops have got, oh, did have this in stock. Local shops. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Excellent. Virtua Pool. Looks cool, doesn't he? International Superstar Soccer Pro. The Golden Ball, yeah, nice, nice. There we go. That was the three episodes. So I think I enjoyed them. Um, one, two, three in that order. So that was my first. That was my second. That was my uh, my third favorite. Not that it's about ranking the magazines. I really enjoyed that, guys. Um, hope the sound is okay on it because I um I did have to move my microphone a couple of times. Um, but yeah, I'm still learning. So I'll give me a break. Um, Please do get that subscribe button. I might go live in a couple of hours, maybe if I'm feeling, I'm just not feeling myself at the moment. Um, hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. Love you. Bye.